So, we had a uh, huge crop of tomatoes last year, and because of that, we're having hundreds of little tomato seedlings, seedlings coming up. So I planted them in these pots, put a little compost around them, and the extra rings that I had that I used for my peppers last year that I probably won't need for the peppers because they really didn't get water, held down by as many peppers as we put on them last year. So I thought I'd use them for volunteer tomatoes. And they're doing well. I don't know what kind of tomatoes these are, but they probably are cherry tomatoes because we had so many cherry tomatoes fall on the ground. But I'm, I'm happy with that. This is a uh, carrot flower. We planted carrots in uh, this spot last year. And uh, it was such a mild winter that this one survived through it. And I saw it was sprouting flowers, so I let it go. And the carrot flowers are beautiful and they smell delicious and they bring in lots of uh, beneficials to my uh, perennial bed that potatoes grow started growing in. Because we, I guess I missed a couple potatoes last year and they started coming up again. Here's the blueberry bush I just planted this year. So, another couple of volunteers that came up. Over there is my compost. Compost that I emptied out. And I've had multiple squash plants come up into it. Let me go show you that. It's starting to get dark out, so I thought I'd toss the flash on. But this is the compost I uh, emptied out into this container. And uh, you can see squash squash plants are coming up into it. It's really misty out. You see the fog going over the camera. So that's the compost. The compost top kept falling off, so I duct taped it. it solves everything, you know. But we've had probably 10 or so squash plants come up and I've been transplanting them one at a time into my squash bed. I think I'll go show you that now. As you can see, uh, that one came up by itself right there. I wouldn't have planted it so close to the other one, but I'm not going to move it. And we've had that one I transplanted. That one I transplanted. And you can see the couple tomatoes that I tossed a couple stakes around. There's a lot of fog. I didn't realize it was this misty. But this is another one. There's a I planted a bunch. This whole whole bed is full of transplanted squash. That seems to do really well in our climate. Seven I think it's seven A or seven B in New Jersey, right on the coast. So Right where those, right where around where the Indians were teaching the settlers to uh, three sister plant. So I got the tomatoes, squash, and peas all all in the same bed. Maybe not the same way they would have done it, but it's doing well. I'm gonna check back in later. Show you how they're doing. And I apologize for the camera. I've. Uh, I have the Pixel, Google Pixel phone, and the, the camera is easily broken because the back is glass and it just falls right through over the camera, and so there's a little split right over the top of the camera, so it goes out of focus very easily, but I still want to show a couple of my things in the garden, and I don't really feel like buying a camera just because I'm doing little garden updates. But yeah, everything's grown really well. I've had good success with the uh, the turnips. We're doing all right. And I uh, transplanted a couple of those sunflowers from the front yard, from my front yard that were uh, eaten by the deer. I saved one or two of them. The other one's right over here. Thought better put them back here before the deer eat them. Apparently, deer love sunflowers, and that's that's about it. I think I'll do one little walk through of the garden. The camera will probably go out of focus hundreds of times. It's a radish. Radishes apparently aren't doing very well around here. They bolt very easily. 
but everything else is doing spectacular. But great arugula, even though it's going to seed now. Swiss chard's doing spectacular. The spinach actually lasted a lot longer than I thought it would have. And uh, you can see the turnips. Went to see I left the ones that are going to seed, but I took everything else out. Kale doing all right. The leeks. These leeks I actually got from the supermarket and planted, planted in. And I got a lot of the leaves off of them. As you can see the camera. Right, focus. But our romaine is lights out. We've had multiple, maybe five or six harvests off of these, and now they're starting to grow heads. Have like what you buy in the supermarket. Oh god, come on. I'm gonna stop the camera and I'll... As you can see, they're growing heads like gangbusters. And we just take the outer leaves every once in a while, make a salad. As you can see, the tomatoes are coming up vigorously. Oh, come on. Don't do it. There you go. Tomatoes are coming up crazy. Because we had a, I transplanted last year a couple tomato, cherry tomatoes into here. So a bunch of cherry tomatoes are on the ground. The raspberries are doing spectacular. We've had a couple handfuls, maybe four or five handfuls of those. They usually don't make it inside though. And I thought instead of just uh, trellising these up, single single stem pole up a pole, I thought I would have have them come out a little bit and then trellis one of the suckers all the way up a pole so I'll have the best of both worlds of having fruit down here but also trellis it 10 feet up see how that works never know the beets back there are doing spectacular they grow amazing much better than the turnips did because you see the turnips are all just going to seed not even growing much of the tubers let's see if I can show you one of them small little tubers some of them grew big but once they go to seed they just stop putting production into that and yep this one fell over so I this is the uh, Isis candy cherry tomato looked good in uh, one yard revolutions garden so I thought might as well give it a shot you can see I put the uh, stick in the where I'm gonna put the pipe so this one's gonna go straight up the pipe and then I'll, I'll leave a couple suckers down low and it'll stay on these guys so I'll have a use for these and then it'll shoot straight up 10 feet yep. but yeah other than that that's everything going on in the garden oh, let me push this guy yeah, see I'll leave these suckers you know might as well they're looking bad. I'll break that off. But yeah, we had a rainy day. And, uh, mosquitoes are coming out. Luckily, the ground's dried up, though. No more puddle over here. Oh, wow. Yeah. The mist. The mist is too much for my camera to handle. So, I think that's everything. Have a good one, guys. Happy Father's Day. Hopefully you guys are having a good growing season as well. I, I, hopefully this will be the best one yet for May. Hope you guys have the same. Other than that, have a good one.